Shauna here and today we are doing a home vlog. I decided to do a home vlog because um, even though it's not going to be as exciting as like going to like the store or something like that, I just prefer to watch these back in the future and just see how far we've come along and also just to have some content for you guys. We could cook in these videos, we could do gaming in these videos we can do a lot of things in vlogs we don't have to just do talking but I did my makeup today and I didn't film a tutorial or anything because I have a bunch of videos that I still need to get off my iPod to put towards my iPad to put on YouTube and I just think that my storage will explode if I don't hurry up and get the old videos off of it um but today I'm making a pasta. Now I don't know if we're going to be able to use the chicken or not. Mika's researching right now. But I've been finding a lot of easy, cheap, quick meals on TikTok. And I found this chicken bacon ranch pasta type thing. And it looked really good. And it has rotisserie chicken in it and stuff like that. I'm just hoping we could find a way to use the chicken, or if not, I mean, we have chicken nuggets we could use, but I mean, it'll taste better with the rotisserie chicken. Um, so, I wanted to put that in this vlog, and yeah. So, it is Friday, currently November 10th, and it snowed this morning, which is why I did a snowflake makeup look, and I really, really am digging it. I didn't do my hair today, though, I just kind of threw it up in a messy bun. And stuff like that. I have to wash it tonight, so let's not mind that. But I did take a bunch of pictures. And I added a filter to my pictures. And a pro probably a pe people are like, well, we want to see the natural. Well, this is the natural. This is without no filter. But the reason why I added filter is because it pops the white eyeliner. And I love that. I've always wanted to do that. And now I can finally do it. So I'm going to jump off of here and start getting ready to cook. I'll film a little bit of me cooking and obviously hopefully the chicken we can use but if not we'll, we'll have to make ends meet. So peace for now guys and catch you in a little bit. I'm also having some chocolate milk while Mika's looking for the bacon bits for the pasta. So we didn't have, we're not going to use that chicken that I told you guys. Mika found it. Um, show him, babe. Mika found it. <laughs> um, we're not going to use the chicken because I read online that it's not good after four days. So that whole thing just went in the trash and I feel guilty because we just didn't want to make it at first because we wanted to try the lasagna soup for you guys first on TikTok. And then the whole chicken is not good to eat. So kind of heard about that. So, next time when I buy that chicken, I gotta remember to use it the same freaking day, or we can't have it. Um, but, it happens to a lot of us. A lot of us are guilty for throwing food away that we thought was gonna last longer, and so I'm not hurt that hurt. But here I am drinking some chocolate milk before this goes bad. But, let me go show you guys what we're gonna use still in the pasta. Okay, guys. So, this is what we're using for the pasta. So, we would have chicken. But we have everything else, but our chicken is just not good, so we're gonna use we're gonna eat it with chicken nuggets on the side. I don't want to put the chicken nuggets in the pasta because I don't know how it's gonna taste, but we'll have them on the side. So you need a block of cream cheese, you need a packet of ranch dressing, you need whatever Alfredo sauce you like. We're obviously gonna use this whole bag of cheese because they said two cups of cheese. Some bacon bits. You could use raw ones. I just went with this because it's cheaper. And they used penne pasta. We're using bow tie pasta because they didn't have no penne pasta at Walmart whatsoever. So we're using this pasta. So Mika's going to go ahead and get me water started for the pasta. I'm not going to make the nuggets yet. I'm actually going to have Mika put this in until the noodles are done and then we'll put chicken nuggets in. But we love these chicken nuggets, by the way. And they're super easy and they taste amazing. So, yeah, that's what we're making. I'll come back and show you guys the steps in a little bit. I'll also probably add seasoning into this since the rotisserie chicken's not good. But I'll, I'll research seasonings that'll go good with this pasta.
Okay guys, so we're going to add the noodles into some boiling water. So we're just using these bow tie pasta noodles. You're supposed to use penne, but we don't have any. So I'm going to let this um, get done, and then we'll come back and show you guys the rest. So I'm going to stir this to make sure that they don't stick together or anything like that. Oh, and you want to add some salt into your noodles as well. Um, not too much though, because you're going to be adding Alfredo and stuff, but... There's the first step. Hi everyone, Mika here. I just want to actually stop by real quick. Um, what I've been doing today, i just been um, adding some gameplays uh, to Twitter and I'm gonna add it to like TikTok, YouTube. Trying to like uh, clear some storage. Because the two phones that I have, like, their storage are, like, really low. So I want to try to, like, see what to do in that case. But what really annoys me is that you have to pay to get more storage. So it's like, you know, it's just really hard when you try to delete as much as you can. And one time, like way back, I don't know how many years from now, I had a phone and I like like erased everything and the storage was still horrible. Even though it like helped a lot, but it still showed that um, there was a, a big piece missing and stuff like that. So I'm trying to do that. Um, what else? I'm just getting annoyed because like I'm trying to do gameplays right and just the sound there's no sound I'm trying to research how to do it so I'm trying to do that and then uh, what else um, I might take a bath uh, not myself but like bathe my my lizard, and Sean's lizard, and stuff like that. And Sean actually gave me him for a birthday present a while back. So now he's not little like he used to when we first got him. So that's what I'll be doing so far. And yeah. Um, but. Excuse me. Um, like you guys see, like in the video, I actually have Sean um, hold the phone and stuff like that uh, while I was recording her doing this stuff. So I'll be actually helping her while she actually pours in stuff. So yeah, I want to step by and uh, say hi to everyone that supports both. Um, uh, thank you so much for supporting and stuff like that. Without you guys, like, you know, we want to want my content and, uh, you guys are amazing. And, uh, for you guys that don't, uh, you know, because you're lost, not mine. But, uh, peace out. So guys, I wanted to show you guys outside a little bit. It's actually was snowing this morning, hence why I did my makeup as snowflakes, but here's how it looks. I can't show too much because there's people walking, but yeah. So I'm on our patio right now, but I wanted to tell you guys. So it was snowing this morning and I was like, I knew I had to do my makeup or whatever and I was like, I didn't know what to do or like an idea of what to do. Cause I was gonna do like another like fall look or whatever, but I decided to go with this. And so you can see it out here where there's no filter. But see, I like the filter because it like highlights this, so like the white br like pops. But I didn't know what to do, and it was snowing, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a makeup look of like snowflakes because it just fit the mood, like you know. 
So anyways, but it looks like this. You could see it in like actual daylight. I did have my lips done too, but I don't have them done anymore. And then these were like snowflakes coming down. And then these were like bigger snowflakes. I messed up on this one because like I've never done like a lot of art on my like makeup looks. And now that I'm getting into it, like I don't have any stencils or anything to help with that. But yeah, that's what I did. So peace for now. Um, waiting for the noodles to get done. Then I'll show you guys the rest of the steps. Bye. Oh, and there's Miko over there. <laughs> I just noticed you could see him. He's right there. Do you guys hear that? He's watching the the Adopt Me Halloween look. But yeah, peace for now, guys. There me your Naruto's. Say hi, baby. Say hi. So I'm going to have a pudding while we wait. Mika got these from the Dollar Tree. I cannot believe how much they sell at the Dollar Tree for now. Or now. Not for now, but now. Because I remember back in the day when my dad would take us to Dollar Tree, they literally had like nothing back in the day. So I'm going to eat this while we wait for the noodles to cook. And yeah, also guys, I have my wax burner going back there. I want to show you guys the wax that I'm using in it, but Mika has them in a bag in the other room. I want to bring them out and put them back out here now that Mika brought his long stand out here. Because I feel like they'll fit like back there and, and Naruto can't get back there to them. But he brought that out instead because I told him he could use my desk to sit because it'll be more comfier. And he brought the TV stand out here. So the room's a little bit different. I'll show you guys later how it looks with the desk in there. But yeah. So we already added the chicken uh, nuggets in the oven. So I'm just putting the whole jar of Alfredo sauce. And then I'm also putting the whole block of cream cheese because that is the recipe. So try not to touch it because it feels weird. So I guess I'm going to have to touch it. So we put the whole thing in there so Mika could pause it for now and then I'll come back with you guys in a bit. Okay, so Mika took over, guys, because my back was hurting, but that's why we got off camera, and because I got mad at Mika, since he wants me to tell you guys. Which, I told her to do it, because... And I didn't get exactly mad, but it's the way that he cut the, the cream cheese. I couldn't get the little piece out, and my back was hurting, so... Which I told her, I'm a big boy, I don't need people defending, so please don't. If we ever get mad at each other, that's a couple things. But here he is, um, mixing the cream cheese and the Alfredo together. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this jar. Um, sorry guys, my back is hurting me. I'm going to add a little bit of water to the jar. Because as you guys can see, there's still um, some sauce down in there. Oops. So, we're going to add the lid and we're going to shake it the best we can. See, there's still all kinds of sauce in there. I'm going to get off here and shake it and pour it in there, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of garlic powder. And we're going to add a little bit of onion powder. I love basil in a lot of my pastas, so I want to try it in here. I'm just going to add a very little, though. And then we're adding some black pepper. And you have to add a whole thing of ranch. I can't open it, so... Okay, so I'll be back, um... Because I'm going to go help her. I think these packages are so annoying. Or any that are hard to open. So you guys can see the ranch in there now. Now we're going to put two cups of this, which... This bag is two cups. So you put the whole bag. And then... 
we're going to add bacon bits. Which I'll probably just add the whole thing because it's about the serving thing. Let me see. I think I can show you the pasta for now, but the ounces is about three ounces. So it's like a cup and a, like, it's like barely a cup, actually. It's almost a cup. So we're going to add the bacon bits. And now I'm going to pass, or I'm going to take the phone and Mika's going to stir it for you guys. There's a spoon in there already. And we have it on heat because it needs to blend together. But this is how it's looking. Obviously it would have rotisserie chicken in there, but <laughs> unfortunately our rotisserie chicken went bad. Um, I might make this again if we like the flavor of it. I don't even know if we're going to like this. I mean, we like everything that's in it. But we don't know if we'll like the combination, so. I'm gonna need to smell this good. Well, that's a good thing. It smells good. <laughs> so. I hope you guys like our cooking videos and stuff like that. And share it. We uh, recreating it because we saw like a lady doing this. I'll tag the TikToker in the description that made this. is killing me guys so that's the pasta obviously it would have rotisserie chicken in it but it is what it is um we're gonna taste test it for you guys obviously <laughs> since we're filming might as well taste test it um but yeah that is what we're currently making and the chicken nuggets are already in the oven, and we just decided to make six each because the pasta is going to be pretty filling. But obviously, we wanted some kind of like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be good with a chicken, like like a chicken type of meat next to it because it has chicken in it. But I didn't want to add the chicken nuggets into the pasta because I feel like it would make the chicken nuggets soggy and taste weird. And plus, chicken nuggets are different than rotisserie chicken. Like, rotisserie chicken is seasoned to be added to, like, tacos and pastas and stuff. And chicken nuggets is breaded. It's, like, more like a lunch thing with, like, fries or macaroni or something like that. I just, I, I was too scared to try it. So, sorry guys, my nose is running. It's cold outside and I took you guys outside just, like, 30 minutes ago. Look at my eye, it hurts. I'm really skeptic when it comes to tasting new foods. You can come talk over here. We don't have to talk behind. Is this? Mm. <clears throat> yeah, like, I'm really skeptic when it comes to food and stuff like that. Um, when I actually started looking at a lady on TikTok about great value food and stuff like that, we're in a budget. Like, I was really skeptical because, like, you know, anybody could actually... What is it? Uh, they could hype up something. That's well, another word. Well, because, like, actually, like, um, everyone knows that if you take something, like, that is um, low quality, it uh, flavors are off and stuff like that. And, and they put a lot more chemicals and, like, the off-brand things, like, more ingredients, chemicals, things like that into your food versus, like, if you pick, like, organic or grass-fed meats and stuff like that, like, you can definitely taste a difference in certain foods. So, Mika was really, like, skeptic. <laughs> yeah, and when it comes to snacks, like, um, I'm really been shocked because when Sean and I were showing the snacks, because we both love our snacks, um, even with ice cream, it's like, she told me about it, and I was really skeptic. When we tried it, I was like, wow, like, you know what, like, I don't know why people have to judge food and stuff like that before you try it. Like, I'm not going to judge food until I actually try it. Um, but to be honest with you guys, there is actually low quality, like, uh, off-brand food that will taste off. And, but it's a hit and miss with food and stuff. So, you know... I do have my guard up when it comes to like food, but I'm not gonna be picky and stuff. 
when it comes to helping and not helping. Yep. So that's kind of like where we've been is like trying different foods, even if they're like off brand. And the reason why I do that is because, you know, a lot of people do that to the food. And I'm just doing it because to me it's the same thing. So when I do this, it's not being smart or anything. And to me, it's the same thing. I just say off brand because people expect me to say off brand. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off of here for now. Um, the pasta should be done here pretty soon. Um, I'm hoping it tastes good. And then we're just waiting for our chicken nuggets. And then we'll show you guys there. And we'll rate it for you guys. Um, the lasagna soup came out 10 out of 10. I wish we would have filmed our reaction, but we were really hungry that day. And also, we were really hurting because that one took a little bit more steps. So, we were both hurting. But I will definitely be recording this one and letting you guys know our feelings on it. So, bye for now, guys. Guys, look how ooey and goozy, goozy, <laughs> ooey and gooey this cheese pasta, this cheese in the pasta looks. So Mika gave me a great idea to just put my chicken nuggets in there and just like eat it at the same time, see how it tastes. Hopefully it tastes as good. So yeah, we're we're gonna record ourselves. He's gonna move closer to me, and we're gonna taste it for you guys together. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, don't worry about this. This is just trash from the things that we had to use to make. Okay, guys. Well, let me kick some of this off. Okay. First time trying this, and um, that's why it's good to look at Pinterest, TikTok, or whatever. Mmm, that is so good. I told Sean that we should actually like make a book or like add it into something, and look back when we actually wanted to make something to eat. Which I think we should add this. Mmm. I'm gonna buy the buy the stuff again to make this again. I now wanna try it with the rotisserie chicken though. Don't get me wrong, it's good with the nuggets, but mmm. <laughs> What would you give it? Mmm. I said I'll say. It's perfect. 10 out of 10. You guys should try it. I mean, I want to try it with the um, penne noodles. But with the bow ties, it's really good still. Mmm. That's amazing. It is so good. And you could add real bacon. Well, that is real bacon, but you could add your own cooked bacon at home if you want. I just found that to be faster and cheaper. Not just that, sorry. I'm sorry. I tend to burn the what's called. 
But we're gonna jump off of here, guys, to go eat our food. We wanted to eat a little bit with you guys. But yeah, see you guys soon. Hey guys, so really fast, I'm gonna call out Mika here. He wants me to show when I'm mad, so here I am mad. He freaked, we made a freaking mukbang on TikTok, and what does he do? Sean made it. Y'all know he helped me make it, right? Right? See, they said yes. He over here telling TikTok lies, acting like I made it by myself. <laughs> Look at him. He knows he lied. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to get off here to charge my iPod before we film the rest of the night for you guys. But how was your day, though? Are you happy? I'm happy. Just struggling with some video games and stuff like that. Um, just cause, not amused. Just because, like, when it comes to transgender stuff, like, it's there's not much to it. Only, like, the process to doing all the stuff. But after that, it's like, all you know is that they... They did all the stuff, all the steps to get to that part where you want to be. And it's not a choice, guys. <clears throat> but, um, I have a long way. And, um, yeah. So for right now, I'm going to do other content. I know a video idea you could do for your transgender stuff. You could do a how you cope with dysphoria while waiting for bottom surgery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got him there, didn't I? Look, look at that face. I also tell him, guys, that he should do, like, a gaming collection. Like, it's not as big as it used to be, but it's definitely a start. And also, he could do, like, little clips, like a little vlog of you playing the video game. It doesn't have to be the clip itself. You could do, like, a v gaming vlog or something with different games throughout the day that you play. But anyways... We're going to jump off here, and I'm going to charge this and relax, pose my makeup look. I don't know what Mika has planned, because that, that little mother flipper over there always has things planned. <laughs> so, yeah. Come on, guys. Give me a guy's type genre with their makeup. Like, I've been saying, I mean, I see the struggles she goes through, and I see... And I get mad at him. <laughs> I say zero to like one or two, a little bit. I mean, it's art. And it's like almost like drawing and stuff. Oh, shit. So, just before we get off here, <laughs> um, I purr a little bit more. It's like disappointing. It's just a lot of work, guys. I wish more people would notice my work. You know, because this does, this might look trashy to some people, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> Alright, we'll go. Come on, guys. That, that makes me mad. Now you guys are getting him mad. <laughs> I mean, how does this grow up? Art and drawing is not easy. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, you people know that. That's all. Bye. Bye. See you later. And there's Naruto with his daddy. Hi, Nars. Naruto with the dinky toes. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Do you tell the people she saw snow today? Oh, and that's his toy over there. That's a shirt. And Mika, there's a water bottle cap that you're going to have to get off the ground ASAP. But that's his shirt to play with. But anyways, let me show you guys the wax that I'm currently using. But he always sits under here while we eat. Number two. Okay, so here's Mika's TV stand out in the living room now. But like I said, he could put the waxes back there and Naruto can't get them. I'll show you how the desk looks in the room. But I wanted to come over here. So this is my bookshelf area. And where I keep my makeup and my planner stuff. But this is the wax that we're currently using. It is by Scentsy. It is... I'm snow over it. And it smells really good. 
Like, we've had it on all day, and it makes the house smell super good. So, yeah. I love this little spot. Well, sorry, guys. Probably blinded you. But I love this wax burner. It's on Amazon. It was like $12 or $15, but, yeah. Okay, guys. So, I have to block an envelope that fell back there. But this is the desk I was telling you guys about. And it used to be my desk until we moved downstairs and then Mika and his mom and dad couldn't figure out how to put it back together. So the boards to the top of the desk is outside to keep Naruto from leaving the patio. And this is all that they could put together. So all the books under there are mine and then Mika just has our TV and like a bunch of stuff behind it like our electronics and things like that. So yeah. Also, I'm calling Mika out because he still hasn't fixed my tapestry. Really? And this is Naruto's blanket. I gave him this. He actually has two blankets. So this is his first blanket, which is like mommy's blanket. It's purple and cute. And he doesn't bite them either. He actually like lays on them. Like, I would show you guys his area, but... Or I might still show you guys his little area here in a minute. Because that's his area. And it's going to obviously be messy because he's a dog. But Mika, you need to fix this. Because I told you today to fix it. But yeah. Let me show you guys Naruto's little corner. And then I, I need to I need to charge. Okay. So Team High. I know this is really messy. But this is where he loves to lay. So obviously it's a little bit nicer. But this is how it looks in the morning. There's tons of... Our clothes because when we leave, we try to give him our old shirts and stuff for he can lay with so he can be calm. And then he has his toys. He does have a crate, but he pulls his pillow out and he brings it over here. But this is his blanket. That's his blanket. And the purple one's his blanket. This used to be Casper's blanket, but we gave it to Naruto. We kind of regret giving Casper the really long and thicker dark brown blanket. But we thought that, you know, yeah. But anyways, this is his little spot. Mika actually got that from the dumpster. That was supposed to be ours, but Naruto claimed it as his. Um, <clears throat> and we've been wanting to show Naruto, uh, not Naruto, uh, Blade, but because he's in a what's called like smaller tank, um, we're going to upgrade it and actually buy better things for him. Um... But yeah, I just to say that. Yeah, and this ain't being messy either, by the way. This is always reorganized, but through the day, he just grabs all his, like, that's his, that's his, that's his, and he'll just take it out the room. So, yeah, but this is his little corner next to Blade. Blade's up there. So, yeah. So, back to what Mika was saying, I just want to defend us a little bit more and just say that, you, like, social media is a really big place. For people to judge and people to like make accusations and stuff like that. And we just don't want to show our pets a lot because we don't want people to say things along the lines that they don't have no clue about. And we know how to take care of our pets. We love our pets 110%. We've already had Blade for over five years and we know exactly what to do, how to take care of him. Mika actually owned a bearded dragon while we lived in Maryland for a bit. And he actually did a lot of research on bearded dragons. And that is why, you know, he ended up getting one over here because he was so knowledge. Like, we understand bearded dragons. And we just don't want people attacking us and being like, well, you guys don't deserve your pets and stuff like that. It's not that he is in a really, really small tank, but he definitely is needed for an upgrade. And we've been saving. We've actually started saving for him since being upstairs. So, it's already been almost a year that we've been saving to get him a new tank. We probably are already close to being able to get him a bigger one. We just haven't done it yet because we want to make sure we get him the best one possible. So, I shouldn't have to explain myself, but it is social media and people like to throw accusations and stuff. And I'm going to defend Mika and I because this is our little family and nobody is going to bring us down. So, I don't want to hear anybody say anything bad because you guys don't know even half of the shit that Mika and I have gone through. Okay, I'm gonna end here. Let this charge. I'll come back and we'll show you guys a couple more things and then we'll end the vlog because I don't want it to be a very long vlog. I want this to be like a chilled what we do in the day kind of vlog. Um, 
Even though it's really boring, I told you guys, our life is boring. Like, we don't get to do much. But we are thankful to have a roof on our head and food in our fridge and worries off our shoulders. So, yeah. Peace, guys. We love you. Also, don't mind my nails. I know I gotta do them. Your girl's just behind on everything. Bye! Hey, guys. So, here's Mika and I playing some Adopt Me. Here's our little dodo bird and our little Indian leopard that Mika's working on. So, we share pets. And I'm playing on the laptop for the first time. I've never played much on the laptop, but I am. This is our laptop. We use this to edit. We play games on it. Also, look how cute Naruto looks. Naruto with the pinky toes. But anyways, um, yeah. That's what we're doing right now. And my iPhone's still charging. So, talk soon, guys. Hi, everyone. So, it's Mika here. I just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't actually vlog what I was doing because there's no way for me to actually do a game um like record a gameplay for social media and record with others so unfortunately I, that's why I didn't do it um so that's what I've been doing all this time and I've been uploading um, a little bit of some games, and then I helped Sean out with, um, a meal that we actually made today, uh, which will be upload, um, tomorrow, so, be expecting for that, um, tomorrow, which is already today, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys... Have a wonderful day, night. Much love from Shauna and me. And, um, yeah. And, um, just want to show you guys my update on my hair. It's not a big difference, but it's getting there. And why I'm saying that is because testosterone has been making me actually lose my hair and make me bald. So if anyone knows any products that helps you guys um, with that, please let me know. Please comment in the, in the comments and um, tell me the price and the product because I really really don't want to be bald. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, like, um, right now I'm actually like, I know it looks like I haven't done much grooming to myself and, and that's because I've been disappointed with been a lot that's going on with my hair and and yeah I'm actually trying to let it grow to actually have a small ponytail that I would mention to you guys but yeah that's what I've been doing so far and mm. we haven't slept we're barely gonna sleep it is what time like four or five. So yeah, guys, uh, it might be your wake up time pretty soon, and it's gonna be your sleeping time. Um, but yeah, much love to each and one of you, and uh, take care, guys. Talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, so yes, Mika has not done anything with that, but I decided to come and say hi myself because I'm exhausted and my eyes are killing me from being on the screen. I was helping a friend um, 
want to adopt me and even though she told me I could have left whenever I wanted I decided to stay and now this eye is acting weird we're not going to look at it I don't know if you guys could tell that it's like acting lazy but anyways I took my makeup off yeah good night guys